Hi, this is Mark Kuban. I'm here at a very nice temple in Thailand. Before I joined Apple, I used to be a monk here, a Thai monk, for three months. Believe it or not, at the times I shaved my head and I wore some sort of yellow cloth. I used to be a monk here for three months. Today I'm going to have one of my ultimate video for you and please consider this video as as a Christmas present from me as your best friend one of your best friend I'm going to tell you the truth please kindly download this video send to someone you like or send a link to the one you love before they buy Apple products I'm going to tell you the ultimate secret. <laughs> ultimate secret. You may not believe me, that's fine. But the truth is always the truth. The secret number one Apple is the worst company in the world, one of the worst companies in the world in terms of business ethics. Business ethics to you and to its employees. I got a large number. Since I started making YouTube videos in January 2010, and now I got almost 7 million views around the world. Sometimes I got personal message from my fellow Apple's employees and they warned me, Mark, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't unveil the secret. And uh, the thing is, I have seen many friends got fired from Apple by unveiling his secret. The company is really selfish and has no ethics. The secret number one is, let's say you are an Apple customer and you have decided to jailbreak your iOS devices. Probably you got iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Do you know something? When you jailbreak your Apple device, you might already know, okay, Mark, I, I know about this story, okay? I know about if I go to the Apple service centers, my iPhone or iPad will be rejected because they have found the CDR icon or that's not the point. We all know about that. Or you go to the nearest Apple store, you want the guys that were there to help you, and the guy saw the CDRs and he just kicked you out. And that is not the thing. Also not the things that I want to tell you today. The thing is, you believe it or not, after you have successfully jailbroken your Apple device, after you have successfully jailbroken your Apple device, Many of the applications, especially Apple native apps, those that come preloaded with your iOS device, like Node or whatever, reminders, they will not function properly. They will not function properly. Apple call this proportional response to an ethical customer. So trust me guy, before you jailbreak your iOS device, you have to take the risk. You have to take the risk. When something goes wrong, probably you got problems with Node, Reminders, any native app, Safari. You go to the nearest Apple store, the guy will kick you out. Sorry sir, we can't serve you because you have jailbroken your device. You have to restore by yourself at home. No, 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 we can't restore your iOS device here because for some reason I want to take responsibility for your contact. If something goes wrong, if you lose all your contacts or anything, I don't want to take responsible. Apple has no ethics to its employee reflect things, companies, selfishness. Let's say you are in Thailand and you're working for an Apple retail store. Actually, there is no Apple store in Thailand here. They call Apple stores here authorized reseller. 
a place where Apple allow the place to sell Apple products. But you might say, Mark, you'll be lying to us. You don't work for no. In order to work for this type of store, you have to pass examinations to earn something called Apple certificate. It's kind of like you're a doctor and you need license. You're a lawyer, you need license. If you want to work for an Apple store, a genuine Apple store, you need a license too. And the thing that really suck is, let's say you work for an Apple store here, and you got problems. Probably the place is very far from your house, or you got problem with your colleagues. You got any unfair situation or circumstances. If you want to quit a dealer or a company or a reseller here, you want to resign. And you want to move to another company here. You have to wait at least six months. Therefore, Apple forces you to stick with one place, one company. You can't change your life, or you gotta be out of your jobs. You have to resign. You have to lose your job for six months. That's how it's happened here. So it has no ethics. For the customer, well, I knew that. All of us are not all tech expert. Probably we don't, you know, all knows about technology. Have you ever wondered or curious or thought why Apple did not allow you to update the iOS on your first generation iPad 1 to iOS 6? The thing is, Apple wants to force you to buy newer versions of the iPad. Let's say you have the first generation iPad and you don't want anything from it apart from just reading news, surfing on a number of websites, view some photos, read some ebooks, that's it. You don't need 5 megapixel rear facing camera, you don't need 720p front facing FaceTime camera, you don't need 4G LTE because probably you are in the country that has only, you know, 3G or you live in the mountain. You got only Edge or GPRS. You don't play game. You don't care about quad-core graphics. But you need iOS 6 because you probably you like some of the feature that they release, probably Siri. Probably you like the new you know, App Store interface, when you download something, you don't have to sweep back and forth between, you know, the page to downloading the apps and go back to the App Store again, downloads, go through that place, go back, back and forth, back and forth. That's why you need iOS 6. You need iOS 6. Sometimes you want to play around with the Apple Maps, the flyovers, whatever. You trust me on one thing that, even though you have the first generation iPad, the iOS 6 is fully compatible with the first generation iPad. Apple wouldn't allow you to up upgrade the iOS 6 on your iPad 1 because they wanted you to buy a new iPad and they want more money from you. Have you ever imagined or thought or curious why you go to the nearest Apple stores and you want to buy an iPad and you wonder why the iPad 4 an expensive device has such pathetic 5 megapixel camera. Why didn't Apple just put 8 megapixel, 12 megapixel camera? You want to know that? The secret is if Apple put 8 megapixel cameras inside the 4th generation iPad, no one will buy the iPhone. Because probably one, for me personally, I don't really like the iPhone. Why? Because in order to read something, get the most served website, the screens, even though they increase the size of the screen to four, but I think the foreign screen is still too small for reading anything. That's why the iPad 4 has a pathetic camera, just only five megapixel camera. So if you need better camera, you have to buy the iPhone, or you have to wait till they in increase the pixel density of the cameras of the iPhone 6 to 12 and then you get egg for the iPad. It has to be like this all the time. 
Have you ever imagined why? Let's say you're a, a graphics professional and you wonder why the Mac Pro desktop models at the moment is really suck. It lacks USB 3, it lacks Thunderbolt, it sucks. The answer is very simple. Because if they release the iMacs and the Mac Pro at the same time, they have to lose a number of customers for iMac to Mac Pro. So they want people to buy iMac till they got enough money at a certain point and then they will allow you to buy Mac Pro. Another secret is we all know that if you buy any iOS devices, let's say you buy iPad, iPhones, iPod Touch, iPod Nano, Shuffle, okay, you buy any of these devices. And of course, but probably some of you don't know, so you are going to know right now. If something happened to your iPhone, let's say you dropped it, you break the screen, and if you didn't buy the Apple Care Plus, Apple will not fix it, and the warranty will not cover it because it's called physical damage by accident. Even though you buy the Apple Care Plus, you got only two chances to drop it for some reason. Probably some of you think, okay, it's great something happened to my device, iOS device, iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. I go to the nearest Apple service center, and then within the first year, let's say I got, you know, I got screen problems without dropping it, and I would get a new iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch for free. But actually, it's not like that. The device that you would get from Apple is called a refurbished device. Actually, it's a second hand one, it's an old device. So, you have to know about this. And the ultimate secret that you have to understand Apple is the company that always say no to a customer. Seriously. The company always say no first. As I said many of time that if you want to win, don't take no for an answer. I'll give you an example. Let's say um, you got a problem with your new iMac. Probably some sort of adhesive underneath the LED or LCD panels, leak it out, or it got dust inside or behind it front glass panels, the iMac, go to the nearest Apple store. In most cases, 70% to 75%, the Apple store will reject your case. They will say things like, well, sir, we really can't help you with this. Probably um, you might in a very dusty environment, very polluted environment, very dirty environment. We can't help you with that. You have to fight very hard. But if you fight hard enough, you call out your the store manager of that store, you you trying to yell out, you're trying to fight, you call Apple Service Center, you go to the, the nearest Apple Service Center, you got no for an answer, you move to another service center, you call them. Sometimes you, you, you have to lie to them, hey, I bought three Macs from this store, another two iPod, whatever. You got to you have to fight really hard. Oh, I heard well, okay, I'm gonna sue you. My friend just got my his iMac shed because of exactly the same problem or something like that. So you have to fight. Oh, no.